problem 4-62, this time we're going to be doing part B down here. So we're given this shape, and we want to find both the perimeter and the area for it. So let's start with 4-62, part B. So we're given this circle with one quarter of it missing, and we know that the radius of the circle is 4 inches. And that's the only measurement we are given. So I'll just quickly draw it here to a weird Pac-Man looking thing and oh it's actually four inches is what we know the radius is. So to find the area of this of this area or of the shape we need to remember what the equation for the area of a circle is. So that is going to be pi r squared. So it's going to be the number pi multiplied by the radius squared. So we know that if this was a full circle, that the area of that circle would be pi 4 inches squared, which would equal 16 pi square inches. So that's if it was a full circle. But we're missing one quarter of the circle right there. So to find the area of what we have, we can just multiply this by 3 quarters. Because we're missing 1 quarter, so we know we have 3 quarters left. So it's going to be 3 quarters multiplied by the total circle area, which is 16 pi inches squared. And if you calculate that, the 16 divided by 4, you get 12 pi, 12 pi inches squared would be the area. Now to find the perimeter, it's going to be a very similar thing, but this time starting with the equation of the perimeter of the circle. So it's very similar to the area, but it's going to, the area, well the area is pi r squared, the perimeter is 2 pi r. So again, if we were looking at the perimeter of the whole circle, if we were to walk all the way around the circle, not with this weird cut taken out of it, it would be 2 times pi times 4 inches, which is going to be 8 pi inches. But once again, this is only 3 quarters of the way around a circle. So we're going to multiply it by 3 over 4, 3 quarters, by 8 pi inches. And that's going to give us 6 pi inches. However, we're not just walking from here 3 quarters of the way around a circle and stopping. We need to get right back where we started. So we still need to walk across here and up here. But we know how long these lengths are. They're both going to be the radius, because we're going to the circle, the center of the circle from the outside and back from the center to the outside. So it's going to be 4 inches and then 4 inches. It's going to be plus 4 inches plus 4 inches. So if you add these together, we're going to end up with 6 pi plus 8 inches, because you can't really combine these two, because the 6 is being multiplied by a pi. If you're doing this on a calculator, you can put in a value for pi, it'll be about 3.14, and so you can get it as one whole number.